Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing really well. So today we will be doing a simulation problem on Aspen Plus. I am using Aspen Plus version 8. I hope you guys remember mechanical operations subject. You must have studied it in your BTEC 3rd or 4th sem. Because today we will be doing particle size distribution. If you don't remember it, it's okay. We will revise the concept together. Particle size distribution plays an important role in industries like specialty chemicals and pharma industries because most of the time raw materials are in solid form. So it is better to know all the characteristics of the raw materials which you will be using to avoid problem at the later stages in the operation. So let's start. When it comes to solid processing, solids are in different forms, for example, granular materials, powders, or fine solids so they come in different sizes and shapes and it is very important to do a particle size analysis so particle size analysis or particle size distribution is a list of values or mathematical function which defines the relative amount of particles present in a system according to their size let us see why is it so important to define particle size distribution First, to quantify a system that contains wide range of particle sizes, for example, a sample contains particles from 5 mm to 100 mm. So how do we quantify that? For that, we need particle size distribution. Next, in many of the solid processing operations, particle size distribution at initial stages is neglected due to which it causes problems at the later stages. So, flow properties of solid materials are strongly dependent on their sizes and it is better to know particle size distribution at the initial stage for hassle-free operation. It is represented by differential or cumulative curve. From cumulative frequency distribution, you will get median, which is around 45 microns. And this 45 microns is the number by which we can characterize the sample. So we can get another curve by taking the slope at each and every point. And that curve will be known as differential frequency distribution. Here we can characterize the sample by using mode. So mode is the most occurring particle size. And most occurring particle size here is 45 microns. So mostly cumulative frequency distribution is used and in our simulation also we will be using cumulative frequency distribution. We will consider a simple solid handling case of potassium chloride. The flow sheet will consist of a feed stream, a crusher and a product stream. So a crusher is used to reduce particle size of a feed stream. And then we will analyze the results to demonstrate the concept of particle size distribution. Let's go to the Aspen environment now. Then we will open Aspen Plus, click on New and select Solids with Metric Units because you will be dealing with solids. Now find Potassium Chloride by typing here. will start searching the data bank. Select this and add selected compounds. Once you do that, you need to change the component ID from conventional to solids because a component can be defined with the different component IDs. For example, if you are defining potassium chloride as solid, this means it will be treated as inert and it will not take part in any of the reactions. Now click on the next button. This screen will appear where you have to put the property method. So since we are dealing with solids, we will use solids as property method. Now click next. Go to the simulation environment. The solid palette will find pressure. Select that and add input and output streams.
change the name we will keep the name as read and here we will change the name to product training go to ci solid by ci means conventional inert so inert we already know that it will not participate in any of the reaction and by conventional means it has a defined molecular structure so we will keep the temperature as 20 degree celsius pressure 1 bar total flow rate will be 1200 and here also 1200 red circle half filled red circle says that the information is not complete to complete all the information we would require to go to this setup and stream class if mix CIPST that means it is a conventional inert solid with particle size distribution and stream classes are very important when modeling solids because they can be used to di differentiate between properties of each substream in the simulation so they really ease the integration of solids and fluids in simulation Under this setup folder go to stream class and select mix cipst then go to stream class it should be mixed and cipst in the right hand side from here go to solids and select psd now we will select psd mesh type that means particle size distribution will be of equidistant type and there are 10 intervals so we need to give them lower limit and upper limit so lower limit will be 0 upper limit will be 10 and size unit is mm now click on create particle size distribution mesh before that a uh, mesh is a grid with size intervals over which the particle sizes will be described as you have seen that it has four types equidistant geometric logarithmic and user for this case we will be selecting equidistant and here we need to give them lower limit and upper limit so depending upon the type of the interval and the limits it will create mesh for user defined user defined is much more better in case you have experimental value so you can just copy and paste all those values here from a spreadsheet click on create particle size distribution mesh after clicking on create psd mesh go to feed and go to input now click on ci solid you will see that all this will appear on the screen now select a distribution function and type will be normal standard deviation we will enter the value as 1 and d50 is 5 mm now click on calculate curve appears so it ranges from 0 to 10 mm and 5 mm is the median for this curve and it's a curve between cumulative mass fraction and particle size now click on next button here we will select equipment so for this problem crusher type is gyratory and we need to define maximum particle diameter so a maximum particle diameter in mm is 2 now click on the next button to run the simulation and now we will see the results let's convert the units to mm 
calculated power is this the particle diameter which is larger than 80% of the inlet mass is 5.87 mm this means that 20% of the sample contains particles with diameter 5.87 mm similarly 20% of the outlet mass contains diameter contains particles with diameter 1.83 mm particle dia which is larger than 50% of the inlet mass this we have already defined which was 5 mm or you can recall it by d50 notation so d50 was 50% of the sample contains particles smaller than 5 mm now there comes a term size reduction ratio so size reduction ratio is in simple words it is the ratio of initial particle size to the final particle size shorter mean diameter of inlet particles have been reduced from 4.75 mm to 0.72 mm so shorter mean diameter is an average particle size and it is the diameter of spheres with same volume to area ratio as the particle mixture i hope you guys find the video very useful and a small suggestion from my side is do analyze the results accurately and if you don't know the meaning of any of the parameter just find it out because what happens is we know how to do the simulation as in we know all the steps but we don't know how to predict the results accurately so it is very important to do that and if you want to stay updated to our channel just follow our instagram page i'll be leaving the link in the description box below and don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you